Hi there everybody, it's UK independent Stamping Up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a really, really quick and very simple note card for you. It's this one here, which although it's simple, I actually think it's quite effective. I like it. It's using the Handmade For You Cling Stamp Set. So I have used the mannequin body here. I have also used the Craft Queen Stamp. I've put it all in Blackberry Bliss, so you're going to need your Blackberry Bliss ink. I have also got the Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. This is from the mini catalogue, really nice ribbon. I've also got some Whisper White twine, which runs through the back. I have my scalloped circle die. So this is from the Layering Circles um, framelits, and that is for the background detail here. And for the cardstock, I have a piece of thick basic white which I have cut in half and scored in half. So I'm just going to fold and burnish that down. I also have a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock to match both the ink and the ribbon. And this is 10 centimetres by 14.35 centimetres. And finally, I have my basic white layer, which is nine and a half centimeters by 13.85 centimeters and you can tell exactly what color i'm stamping with because i have obviously put my finger in it which i never seem to do when i'm using light colored inks but as soon as i get out a dark color ink my fingers just get absolutely covered but i'm okay with it today because it kind of matches my nail polish so <laughs> that's how i'm going to go with it let's get started i'll show you how to create it you are going to need some scrap whisper white both for the mannequin body and for the scallop circle okay so if i just grab some sorry did i say whisper white i mean um basic white do i still have not got my head around the fact that we now use have basic white rather than whisper white. I know. There we go. Blackberry Bliss ink. So I'm just going to open that, put that down. I'm going to stamp my ink in there. No, stamp my stamp in the ink. That's the one. And I'm just going to stamp that down you then want to fussy cut that out because there are not coordinating dies but it's not too hard to fussy cut out and you will get your your little mannequin body here which i've already pre-cut for us i have also run the scallop circle through the big shot already this is the second largest no third largest it's this one here so that's number one for the largest, number two for the largest. This is the third largest. It just comes from that section there. And I've used that one. Okay, for the card, very, very simple this, really simple. You're just going to run some stamping seal across it. So if you just line this up on your grid paper, that's the easiest way to do it. And I wanna go straight across. So I'm gonna use this line here as a guide. And I'm going to make sure I start on that side of it and end on that side of it like that. And then I'm going to run my ribbon across where the adhesive is. Dead simple that, pop it down. Okay, and my snips over that side. So that I can then curl this round the card. And stick it down. You actually want to put your seal all over the card because we're going to stick it down flat onto the base. So I'm just going to pop that on there. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So that is Craft Queen, which is a sentiment I love, I think it's great ink that up and put that down and I tapped in my ink pad a few times because I'm short of ink refill for this one and it needs refilling so I've put one on order but ordinarily when you get our inks you just need to tap once it's just because I'm definitely trying to make sure I've got the ink on there okay 
little bow with the ribbon. There we go. And chop both of those so it looks quite nice so it goes up. And then you want to play with the twine. So this is actually dead simple to do. You want to put a strip of glue at the top and at the bottom of your ribbon. And I've put it there because that's going to be the bit that will be covered by my die cut. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to let the twine fall the way it wants to fall. Okay, so as I go larger, I will see there the loops it wants to take. So wants to go that way pretty much. There we are. And then once you've done that, just chop your twine off. Okay, a couple of dimensionals now. These will help keep the twine in place as well. So if you put the dimensionals that you're going to stick this on directly onto your card rather than on the back of your die cut, and you put it so that it will keep the twine in place, so that when you actually stick then the die cut on, it will force the twine to stay where it is. If you see what I mean, it will create it like a little gap. There we go. So now your twine isn't really moving at all. This one will flop a bit, but that's okay. You want to put a um, glue dot on the back of your ribbon. Stick that down. Okay, you want to pop some more adhesive on the back of here and stick it onto your card base. If that happens, don't worry, there's a way you can stick that down. So you want to have your glue dot again, but this time you want to have your piercing tool and you just want to roll the glue dot. So you can roll this so it's quite thin. Just keep rolling it. Pushing and rolling, pushing and rolling. There we go. Okay, then it should be just as thin as the twine. So you can pop it on your card. And put the twine just on top like that. And then that will keep the twine in place. Okay, and it's not a sticky, it's um, it's hidden behind the twine. Okay, a couple of glue dots on there, like, so not glue dots, dimensionals, I know what I mean. Stick that onto there like that. And then to finish off, I've got some of our gold gilded gems and I'm just going to pop a couple of these and I'm using the larger ones. They come in three different sizes, tiddly, medium and large. I'm using the larger ones and I'm just going to pop these underneath my sentiment there. Dead simple card, but I think quite effective. I really like it and I love the sentiments on this set. Craft is going to craft. Craft Queen, Stitch With Love and Handmade For You, along with my hashtags. Love it. Everything I've used today is available from www.slimandstylish.stampinup.net. And if you have liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for joining me today. Have a lovely day. Bye all. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.